One thing that is important to know also is that when you are using one RCD for the whole circuit, you must ensure that whether it is RCCB or an RCBO, it must have a rated capacity that will be able to withstand the full load current expected for the installation. And basically, if you are using it for residential purposes, then the operating residual current shouldn't be less than 0.03 amps. It could be less, but it shouldn't be more than that. Good. This is actually an RCBO. So here, there are two ways that we can incorporate this in this consumer unit. If possible, we can remove this breaker and then connect this RCBO in place of the main breaker. So in that case, this one will be serving as our main breaker at the same time. It will also be offering RCD protection to the wiring. All right, so obviously um, we can't do this replacement because the terminals are not aligned with the provided connection. Okay, so normally this comes readily with the consumer unit. So we can still uh, keep it and then do, this is an RCBO we will now be only interested in the RCD side. So we are going to use this together with the MCB. All right, so I still have to connect the MCB back and then we look at how to attach the RCD to it. Okay, so we bring this one close to the main breaker. So we have our four main wires that usually come from the energy meter. So I have brown, I have black, I have gray, and then I have blue. So brown comes first, then black comes, and then blue comes for neutral. Okay. So now we have this, and then we have this. Good. So the next connection, first we take a connection from the output of brown. Brown is actually used as L1. And then that will feed L1. And then that comes to L1 of the main MCB. 